And to another major local story, convicted killer David Martin was sentenced to the death penalty today in Trumbull County Court. As 27 First News reporter Jeff Love Coolidge reports, the victim's family hopes this will help them move on and bring closure. David Martin said nothing as the judge was about to sentence him to death this morning, but prosecutor Chris Becker had some unfinished business with him. Uh, Do you have something to say to me, sir? Because you can say now. Now is a chance to speak. Great. Now, I'll note for the record that the defendant has flipped in the middle finger. Becker says Martin was also calling him and co counsel obscene words and wanted the judge to know it. Well, if he had something to say, he was certainly given a right, and in David Martin, typical chicken fashion, he. Uh, didn't want to do that. Uh, he is uh, not manned up at any point uh, in his life, let alone here, so why would he? Meanwhile, the family of Jeremy Cole tells me they are satisfied with the sentence, but forgive David Martin. Only for the simple fact is my brother is rejoicing in heaven, and if I don't find myself to forgive David Martin, I will be entered into hell to fight demons, and I refuse. I do forgive you, but I will never forget what you have taken from me. Nothing that will say or do can ever bring my son back. Martin joins 139 other people on Ohio's death row. The cost per inmate per day is $45.23. That costs taxpayers $16,100 a year. Charles Lorraine and Danny Lee Hill, who have been on death row for the last 28 years, have already cost taxpayers nearly $451,000. That's not even taken into account the cost of appeals. Martin is already planning his appeal. In Warren, I'm Trumbull County Bureau Chief Jeff Left Coolidge, WKBN 27 First News.